smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, today we're gonna be working on the 335i. So you guys know that this bad boy is the only car out of the three that are running right now. I'm um, still waiting on getting the gasket fixed on my brother's car, unfortunately, and we're still waiting on the crankshaft sensor to come from FCP Euro. I did rush the shipping. It should come in today sometime. Let me know in the comments if you guys actually wanna see some footage of the valve cover gasket getting replaced or the crankshaft sensor uh, getting replaced. But in the meantime, guys, there was a bullet right here, as you guys saw from the last video, and it went through this stuff right here. So there's a CCC system behind this and that controls this stuff right here. It doesn't control this. This is um, connected straight to the AC system. But all this and the screen right here is all control controlled by the CCC system in here. And I believe that the bullet went through and actually shot it. So the goal of today's video is we're gonna be removing as much stuff as we can, see if the bullet went through um, the CCC system. And if it did, what else did it damage? And see what we can, uh, you know, see what parts we need to order. All right, guys, now we're here. Everything looks good so far, but I mean, the bullet was right here, so it probably angled something like that. It could have angled something like that, but that means it clearly was inside the car because I got no fender damage. But if it was came like that, it could have came from the door, and probably the bullet was going somewhere downwards. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to remove these screws. All right, guys, so after unplugging it, I have officially came down to the conclusion that this has been shot up. So showing you guys right here, a bullet went straight through the CCC system and came out where the, damn, that is actually a lot worse than I I'd imagine. Came out of the harness, so I guess we're gonna have to also replace the harness. I push all the wires back here, let me show you guys all the wiring. So this wiring right here is completely destroyed, shot right through. I don't even know if this is salvageable, to be honest with you guys. Um, I think this is one entire harness. So I'm gonna have to try to see if I can replace this entire harness, but it is shot. Um, I'm pretty sure these two are supposed to be together. So that is completely destroyed. Um, so this wiring needs to be redone. I don't know how far the bullet went in. I'm gonna have to investigate some more and I'll get back to you guys when I actually find how far deep it went in. But yeah guys, that is nuts. I just look at it. That is crazy. Bullet went in like that, came out from back here, ripped through the harness. It's This thing is shot. So I'm gonna end up needing a new one of these guys. Probably end up taking this off and reusing it because that's some good parts on here. But other than that, I mean, this thing is shit. So that really sucks. If you guys have one of these in your guys' cars, you guys can spare from me, that would be great. Um, if you guys are parting it out or whatever, if you guys know somebody that has one of these and they're parting it out, that'd be amazing. It's, this is a 2008 335i. Any 335i or that has an eye drive system that kind of looks like this would be amazing. Here's the numbers. If you guys can help me get that part, that would mean the world. All right guys, so I have the CCC system put in a box right here because I'm gonna keep it just in case I need some parts out of it. I don't know if some stuff is programmable, some is not or even if anything's even salvageable. Um, what I am taking off though is this system right here. I don't think I'm gonna take it off right now, but um, I'm just gonna leave it in this box. I did take out the fuse in the back though, because I will be needing that on the next one if the next one doesn't come with it. Because usually when you get used things, that doesn't come with everything, they cheap out on you. So I'm probably gonna end up using this plastic stuff all over again and re uh, reuse that fuse. Um, but yeah guys, here's a part number. If any of you guys have this part or know somebody that has that part, that'd be amazing. But yeah guys, go ahead and go back in the car and see where the hell that bullet went. Looks from the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So looking from in here, I don't see that a bullet went through anything. Um, Cause like the way the bullet was angled, it was it, sh it was shot from here, came out from somewhere over here, went into it, and it would have had to go somewhere over here. I'm not seeing plastic too much shattered back here. Um, Cause it would have had to go somewhere in there. So I'm assuming that the bullet kind of stopped inside the thing and deteriorated. Maybe because like, maybe that wasn't the start of the bullet. Because it obviously was from the outside of the car. So by the time it got inside of it and blew out, um, it was kind of the end of it. So hopefully that looks, that's what it looks like. I'll get back to you guys in a second. I'm going to do a little bit more of investigations in here, investigating in here. But I'll let you guys know in a second. All right, so my brother um, gave me a good idea. Oh, that's, 
Oh, he's gonna hold the light. One sec, bro. Are you okay? Huh? You okay? What? Okay. <laughs> so my brother, um, we, we were thinking the bullet could have went, could have went in there, like in that direction. So my brother's gonna go ahead and unscrew the bottom parts, and uh, we're gonna see if the bullet went through there. Um, so yeah, here you go, big boy. And he's gonna go out, and I'm gonna sit up here where it's nice and comfortable, enjoy my paddles, and enjoy looking at this bullet that went straight through my steering wheel. That bullet's right there, guys. I'm gonna take it out in one of these videos. Let me know if you guys wanna see that soon. I just don't wanna ruin the steering wheel anymore, but it's already got a bullet hole in there. But yeah, I, I could figure out what kind of gun was used in this shooting through this little pocket right here. All right, guys, good news is it looks like the bullet stopped within the, uh, within the actual CCC box because the bullet came from the outside of the car, it went through this, it probably went in there, it probably disintegrated by the time it went in there. So, it doesn't look like much bullets are, you know, it doesn't look like it punctured through anything else. My brother's going to be di uh, digging in a little bit more, but I think we're good, and I think we just have to replace these wires right here. I have to see how far back these wires connect to. Alright, that's Christina back there. I don't know if you guys can see her, but I don't care about her anymore because I love bullet over here. Bullet over here takes 11 bullets, and it runs and drives, and it does that beautiful thing right now. Unlike Christina back there giving me problems and stuff, Stephanie, she's doing all right. Oh, guys, um, Christina so. got jealous. Yeah, Christina is always jealous. Whenever I pick up a car, she decides to break down and make me spend all the money on her. You know, that's the type of girls you got to stay away from. But um, this girl, huh? What happened? Stephanie's loyal. Oh, wow. Stephanie's loyal. I mean, she did have a little bit of a fart, so we're trying to clean wow. it up. I mean, bruh. She had surgery, bro. Yeah, we're giving her surgery. She, she had female gas, all right? That's all she had. Okay, well, we're going to stop right there, actually. <laughs> uh, my brother's actually taking apart the CCC system. He, this part is not cheap, so we're keeping that. We're keeping the fuse. He actually saw the disc in there, right, Leo? It's locked, so I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, so the, this disc is in there, and it's locked, but that's the update disc, and that's kind of important. So my brother's going to go ahead and try to get that out. And don't forget, the also, um, all those metal shards falling everywhere. Uh, make sure you sweep that up and make sure you stay in one spot, right? Yeah, no, 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 no problem. Okay, cool. And then if you, if you see the bolts, Habibi, you have to show the audience, Habibi. Well, what are you doing to the Z, Habibi? Uh, I'm just going to take this stuff over here. <laughs> he's going to cut this off. It's not he's just over here using a drill and everything, trying to cut through the steering. I don't know what he's doing. Anyways, honestly, yeah, what, I don't know. Who cares at this point? All right. We're going to wait on these guys doing there. Um, but we just found out my brother... Digged in deep into the dash. It looks like no bullets went through there, which is great. Um, so all we got to do is figure out the name of the wires. So I'm going to go ahead and track down how far those wires go um, into the console. And we'll see how much those cables are. I'll show you guys the prices and everything. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, all that's gutted. Um, it turns out I actually have to move that center console to get to that cable. I don't know how far that cable is, is like how deep that, that cable is going, but I need to get to that cable. So I removed the center chair. I'm gonna have to remove that center console. As you guys can see, all this stuff is ruined anyway. So I'm gonna tear this out, probably end up throwing it away to find a junkyard and just throw it away. Um, but yeah, I, I will be putting this seat back in because I need something to dry, but I don't think I need a center console right now. Um, but yeah. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that center console. I'll get back to you guys once that is out. But uh, also, what I'm doing, because you guys can see the CCC systems right here, um, I'm actually labeling all the screws. So I'm taping it up, and then I'm labeling the screws. Um, so I can put it in a bag, and uh, I'll know where all the screws belong when I put the center console and everything back together. As you guys can see, I actually got the screws out of the seat. I still haven't unplugged it. I'm trying to get the center console out. Got darker parts of my mind, yeah. Got darker days on this grind, yeah. Never pay no mind to what I hate to say. Criticize myself more than anybody, anyway. Living dreams, but these nightmares keeping me awake. Demons whisper. Guys, so this is day two of working on the 335i. Actually, you guys, are, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys will be knowing that I'm doing the valve cover gasket on the 328. Um, and actually, we finished it, but once we put it all back together and started starting up the car, we saw a lot of unusual smoke and the engine sounded a lot louder than usual. So we don't know what's going on with that. I'm not. I'm no expert mechanic. Um, we tried 
We didn't ruin anything. Worst case, he needs a new valve cover. Um, so we're going to have to tow it down to the shop, tell them we attempted it, tell them what happened, and hopefully they can go from there. The 330i still has a crankshaft positioning sensor issue. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video, but yeah, that car doesn't drive either. It's in limp mode. So you guys know the BMW struggle. Um, but yeah, this is the next day, and um, I traced the wires back for the CCC system. The wires actually go underneath the seat, and it follows, like, the wires are like 10 wires. And then they all of a sudden train into like 100 wires underneath the seat. So um, that's a no can do. So what I'm thinking is when I pick up a CCC system from like a pick and pull yard or something like that, when I find one on a you know, the similar model, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the harness that's currently on that current CCC system so I can keep the harness and just rewire the wires to the same wires on the car. Because the wires are all there, it's just um, the harness is broken. So I have to purchase a new harness um, and I don't think we can sell those separate to be honest. So I'm just going to try to find one uh, that's currently in a car, uninstall it myself, cut off the wires behind it and just, you know, rewire everything myself. Shouldn't be that hard. I mean, uh, the hardest part of any car is the engine. So thankfully it does start up and run. It is having a service engine light. I'm going to go ahead and get the codes down. Send it to BMW Fanatic. If you guys don't know him, he knows like pretty much everything about these cars. And um, hopefully he can help me and tell me what I need to do exactly to remove that service engine light. Because that is the most concerning light as of now. But yeah guys, let me show you how the interior looks right now. It's kind of crazy. So this is how the interior is looking yesterday. As you guys saw, Jonathan was vacuuming up with a glass yesterday. Good guy. Got all the glass and everything out. The seats out. Just the, pa just the driver's seat. Um, obviously I'm going to be replacing that one. But that one is the driver's seat so I need it. Something I've learned guys, when the battery is connected, make sure you don't unplug anything because I saw my windshield wipers go crazy, my key wouldn't work, I couldn't start up the car, it was just doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So I think I short circuited the battery or something, I ended up taking the battery back, got a new one, everything is good again. I'm going to go ahead and read the codes, I'm just going to go ahead and put a few more bolts in the back for this driver's seat, make sure the driver's seat is in good standing condition. I don't really care if there's any seat here, I might just go full race car, who knows, because all these door panels and everything has got to go, so you never know what I'll turn this car into. But uh, I do want the CC system to work so I can use that navigation dash for like codes and stuff like that, any errors, because that's important. But yeah, in the meantime, guys, we can go ahead and put those two screws in, read the codes, and uh, I'll tell you guys what the codes say. Also, I think I'm gonna go ahead and install the AC system since I do feel like that's important. Guys, honestly, I dig race car mode. Just like having the AC and leaving all this gutted like that looks dope. Anyways, yeah, so that's hooked up. I just need to make sure I have AC. I'm gonna go ahead and start reading the codes. I gotta get the Carly adapter, so I'll be right back. I gotta get the keys from upstairs. It's not too shabby. Yes, on me, don't worry. Look at my dad being super nice. I appreciate that. Okay, so we're gonna go to here to diagnostics. You guys can see I have a service engine light. I do have an airbag light right now, which I'll be clearing right now. It's just, actually, I probably won't be able to clear that since this seat's unplugged, um, but yeah. The airbag light is because of that. Um, seatbelt lights because I don't have my seatbelt on. The brake light is because I have the e-brake up. But I think the brake pads are also worn on this car. Um, but the ABS, traction, and service engine, I have no idea why all three of those are on. So that's what we're diagnosing today. I'm going to go to E90. Um, it's kind of It gets kind of confusing um, because the preset's E90 for me, but I have two of them. So I have to change the year every time. See, it's an 06 right now. So I have to go to 08 and then go ahead and connect. I'll get back to you guys when I'm actually reading the codes. Alright guys, I need some help with this. I am having a service engine light, but as you guys can see, I don't have any motor codes. So I don't understand what that means. It does say I have a, in my service info on the car, it's saying I need to do an oil change in 1600 miles. Maybe that's something to do with it. My brakes, it's saying some random rear wheel speed sensor. Maybe that got shot out, who knows. Um, airbags, airbags is, you know, there because obviously there's no seats. So I'm not really worried about that right now. Um, instrument cluster, EC, I'm guessing that's stuff to do with this all being unplugged and the CCC system being all messed up. And yeah, it's all a random system and door antenna. Well, I know a lot of the doors don't work, so we'll have to figure that down the road. And this is a lot of battery stuff just because I got a new battery. So I ain't really worried about it. All right, guys, so I'm a little bit sweaty because of the inside of the car. But as you guys see, I have some random codes. It does say service engine, but it's not giving me any engine faults, which is a really good sign because saying this is an N54 and the 328s having engine issues and the, and the 330i's having crankshaft issues. Um, I hope you guys don't jinx me anymore because I'm I, true. I own two BMWs, but I eat shit on both of them. So please, please. Um, lay off a little bit because I, I can't I can't afford anything else breaking down for you Arabs I think you guys know what I mean about the the whole um, how do you say it uh, an 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 or um, a nephis so if you guys are Arabs you guys will know what that means uh, but, <laughs> but yeah basically um, every time I get a new car my 330i decides to break down 
Maybe because I always compliment the new car and the 330i is just really upset with me. Um, I, I don't know. I really, I really don't know. But yeah, guys, if you guys have a CCC system that you guys can mail out to me or, I, or yeah, if you guys are local, I can come pick up for the low or super cheap or, you know, you can even donate to the channel for this build. That'd be amazing. Hit me up on Instagram or down in the comments and then hit me up on Instagram. Instagram is the best way of communication for me. But yeah, I, I want a CCC system. I believe it just controls like the sounds in the car. Um, the navigation screen and just some other uh, features, but I feel like it is necessary to have on this car because I, the reason why I got 355 with the navigation screen because it actually tells you uh, the error and you don't have to plug in a code reader right off the bat. It'll tell you what the error is, not just the light. So you'll know what the problem is um, before. So you know what the problem is right off the bat. That's what I like about the whole navigation system screen. I really don't use it for the navigation. I just use it, I don't know if you call it a heads up display. I don't know what you call it. Nah, it's not a heads up display. Whatever. If you guys are looking forward to the next video, I'm probably gonna be uh, opening up the doors and be cutting open the steering wheel. See what kind of bullets um, this car took. Actually, I don't know if they showed you the bullet they found inside the armrest, but let me go show, and show you guys that real quick. That, that is the bullet we found inside the armor. There's not really much left of it, but that is one piece. I'm gonna, I'm gonna collect all the pieces in that thing. If you guys can help me out with any parts in the interior of the car would be amazing. Um, any parts in the trunk would be great. Any trunk lights, any parts at all, even stock brake lights, any of that stuff just to get headline breakdown so I can get this on the road. That'd be amazing. Anything at all would be amazing. I love you guys. Remember to stay humble and I see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love her, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy You know